This video will guide you through how to create an activity using ThingLink. Before I start my new activity, I want to show you one that I've already created. So to see my archived thing links, I'm going to click on me. I'm already logged in. And this shows all the different thing links that I've created. I'm going to open this one on Amelia Earhart. And you can see that on my thing, my image here, I have several different little hot spots. They're called tags. So as I hover over each one, this one's linking to an image. This one is a discovery education video that I selected. So if my students click here, all students in the district have a login to Discovery Ed. That information is, all of that login information is located in the assignment section of the class. So then when my students log in, I'm logged in as a student here, they would be able to view this video uh, from Discovery Ed on Amelia Earhart. I just close that tab and it brings me back to this section. Here's another image that I have linking to. This one is a brain pop activity. Again, login information is located in the um, assignment section of the class. But this one is linking directly to this URL, is linking directly to this brain pop activity on Amelia Earhart. So again, students will be prompted to log in and there's an individual school login for brain pop for each school. You'll find that information in the Blackboard class as well. So I'm going to close this tab. And my next hotspot leads to a URL site giving information about Amelia Earhart. As you can see, they can scroll through this site and get all the information that they need. And once they're ready to move back to the thing link activity, they just close that tab. This is just text giving information. This one's linking to another website on Amelia Earhart. And this one is linking to a True Flix activity. Again, all uh, schools have, uh, I'm sorry, second through eighth grade have logins to True Flix. Uh, that information is found in the assignment section. This one's linking to an article using Gale database. This is a great article on Amelia Earhart. And this one is a world book article. So each time you get to one of those articles, they link directly to that article. You get the URL from that article. So now I'm going to actually create a, um, a thing link activity from scratch. So up here I have create. I'm going to tap on that. And now I'm going to go and choose my image. Now I've already done some work beforehand, so I've already located the image that I want to use. And I would recommend that you use an image that um, is at least 800 um, pixels wide. So you can see as I hover over this one, it's 1280, so it's a nice size. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. I'm going to do it on the Declaration of Independence. And this is a nice size article. It's taken up my whole window, but if it wasn't, I could come over here and do fit and it would do a little bit better fit for my window. Now, before I actually start adding tags, I want you to know that I have down here, now remember that thing link works best using the Chrome browser. So I've opened up the Internet Explorer browser and I've already done my pre-link to the link to the um, URLs or to the things that I want to link to. So I have a brain pop activity here. I'm going to go and do some Google image search here. I have a dis I'm going to do a discovery education video. And this is just a great URL showing the transcript of the Declaration of Independence. So we're going to start here. This is the brain pop activity that I want to use. It's going to bring my students directly. This URL brings my students directly to the Declaration of Independence activity. Again, they will be prompted to log in. So I'm going to click here and get that URL. And now I'm going to go back to my Chrome browser. That brings back up my thing link activity. Now notice how my mouse is across T. Anywhere I click, it's going to add a tag. So I'm just going to double click. And now I'm ready for my first tag. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to right click and paste the URL to that brain pop activity. It gives a little description of brain pop. And I'm going to give my students a little more direction here.
Now this is the color of the icon. I can change it as now you see it's black. But with the free version, you do have the choices here. You have A, B, C, D, E, F. So I'm going to just select a color, and you can see it made that color change. These are not a, this, these options are not available with the free version. So I'm now going to save that tag. It's done. So now I'm going to go back down to my Internet Explorer window where I have all of my work bookmark. I've already done Brain Pop. So now I'm going to go and do a Google search. So I want to find a picture of the signers of the Declaration of Independence. So I'm going to type that in. And I'm going to change my Google search to images. And as you can see, it brings up lots of images for me to use. So let's say I want to use this one. So I click. Just a minute, there it goes. Now I am in Internet Explorer. So if I wanted to get the URL to this image, I would right click and I would go to properties. This is the URL that goes directly to this image. Now again, this is from Internet Explorer. If I was doing this in Chrome, I would right click and there would be an option to copy the URL to that image. So I'm just going to go and make a copy of this URL. I'm going to right click and copy and I'm going to click OK. And again, I'm going to bring up Chrome that has my thing link activity. I'm ready to add another tag. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste that image. And I'm going to give my students a little explanation about that. And again, I'm going to choose the color of the icon. I'm just going to select a different one and click Save Tag. Again, at any time, I can move these around and place them wherever I want them to be. So you can see as I'm hovering over it, it shows the image. It shows the text that I've put. Again, if I needed to go and edit, I just would click on any of them that I needed to click on, and that the box would come up for me to edit. I'm ready now to do my third tag, so I'm going to bring back up my Internet Explorer window and I'm going to do another Google image search. So this time, I'm going to search for John Hancock. And I'm already in images. And I'm having a little delay. There it goes. Okay, I thought my computer was about to freeze up. So as you can see, here's the Declaration of Independence. I'm going to open this one, and you can see John Hancock is really big here. So I wanted my students to see that he was one, he was one of the first signers, and you know how big his signature looked on the document. So again, I'm in Internet Explorer, so I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to Properties, and I'm going to highlight that URL as well, and make a copy, and click OK. I'm going to bring back up my thing link activity and I'm now ready to add my third tag. I'm going to paste that URL and I'm going to give my students a little information about that picture. Choose the color for my icon, and I'm going to save. It's that easy to add tags. Now, I do want to show you with um, a world book, I mean, excuse me, a discovery education site. So I'm going to bring back up my other browser, and now I'm going to go to Discovery Ed. Now, I have already logged in. I am logged in as me to my discovery education account. Um, there is information in the assignment section if you have not created your Discovery Education account, how you can do that. But I'm just going to do a search and I want my students to see what Independence Hall looked like, where they were when they actually signed. So I typed it into the search box and now I'm going to do a search. And it's brought up some images. 
but I wanted a little short video segment, just something real short for my students to watch. So I'm going to click on this. And this is the actual video where it will play. Now again, this is the URL that's going to bring my students to that video. But when my students click on this URL, they will be prompted. Now for our, T our Tangi students uh, to log into Brain uh, excuse me, Discovery Ed, it is their Tangi students email and their password. So I'm going to bring up my thing link, double click, and I'm going to paste that Discovery Education URL. And I'm going to say, just something short and sweet. And I'm going to go and change my target color. And I'm going to do save. Now you can do, remember we have added uh, a brain pop link into a URL for a brain pop activity. This one is linked into an image, and I put some text. I could just add text without an image. Here's another one with an image. And of course, this one was my discovery education. I'm going to bring up just to show you one more. And this is simply just an article giving the transcript of the uh, Declaration of Independence. This is the URL that goes directly to it. So I'm going to right click and make a copy, bring back up my thing link. And double click, paste that URL, and I'm going to say, and again, choose my target color. Now for your activity, you will be required to do um, at least eight tags on yours, whether it's linking to URLs, uh, sites, whether it's linking to images, or you're just giving some text information, and place those where you want. Now what I should have shown you at the beginning, and I um, left that out, this is where you put your title, because right now it's picked up Brain Pop because that was the first thing that I did. So I definitely want to have my title say, and you should do this first. And so now I have my title and I have all of my targets. Again, I only have five, you'll be doing eight, but I'm gonna save that image. And when I do, um, you see this little option to share. So if I click on share, this is the URL that would bring my student directly to my thing link activity. So you will make a copy of this URL to paste in the discussion board section of the class. So again, if I needed to edit this at any time, if I logged out and I come back, I just log back in and I go to me. There's my Declaration of Independence activity. I click on it. If I need to edit, I click on edit. And now I can click on any site that I need to, to be able to edit or change. And again, when I'm done, I click Save, and it brings me back. So this concludes this video on how to create a ThingLink activity. I'm looking forward to seeing what everybody has to offer. In the assignment section of the class, you will find several suggested ideas of things that you can use to create your ThingLink activity. Of course, you'd be creative, or you can choose one from the list. That concludes this video.